The movie starts with the portrayal of a frightened girl. She doesn't have mental peace. She is so scared about something, that she is very disturbed. There were strange black marks on her body. And again and again, she was taking the doll's name. She gets very scared while telling this. Her friend was sitting in front of this scared girl, whom she was telling everything. Then the boy takes care of her, convinces her that you relax. There is nothing to be afraid of. But it was of no use, that she started crying loudly. And then she sees a child behind her friend, who is wearing white clothes. Her soul is seen. With this, she gets more scared and loses her control. That's why she takes a fork and puts it in her throat. Her blood started flowing fast, with which she dies there. A doll was also lying here. By showing it, this scene gets cut here. In the next scene, we see a family, who had recently come to live in a new town. And today they had come to celebrate a festival in a church, which is known as communion. As soon as the communion started here, we see this family's eldest daughter Sarah, with whom her mother was sitting. After the communion, everyone came out. Here a frightened woman came to Sarah, and her daughter, whose name is Marisol. She starts asking about her. She informs her that following the communion in this church, my daughter was missing. There is no whereabouts about her until today. That's why I come here. I come to ask about my daughter Marisol, with the hope that someone might have seen her here. That's when other people and the church's father come there, and take that woman from there, and send her far away. Now this family has come home, where Sarah was getting bored. That's why after a while, she goes to the club with her friend. Although she did not like all this, but today she was having a lot of fun coming here. She enjoys a lot with her friend. Here for the first time, she also takes an illegal substance. So that they can enjoy more. Now this substance was being sold by a boy in the club. Who was actually an illegal substance dealer. While dancing in the club, Sarah's eyes fell on one of her friends. They had never felt like this before. But today they look at each other with such eyes. As if they have something in their hearts. They like each other. Now after a while, Sarah and her friend, came out of the club to go home. In front of them, the substance dealer's car, comes and stops. In his car, Sarah's friend was also sitting, whom she liked, and she comes and sits in the illegal substance dealer's car. That boy begins uttering strange and vulgar remarks. Then after a while, he started taking the car into the jungle, saying that we will stay together for a while and enjoy. But Sarah's friend says that where are you taking this? We have to go from the main road. But he does not agree. That's why they start arguing. But then Sarah suddenly says to stop the car. Says that stop the car quickly. Now I have seen a girl in white clothes. Now Sarah started worrying about her. Who is that girl who is roaming in the jungle at this time? She might have got lost somewhere. That's why she comes out of the car and starts looking for her. But outside that, there is nothing but a doll. That's why she keeps that doll with her. Thinking that it must also be that girl's. And when we see that girl again, we will give it to her. But the girl was not seen all the way. That's why Sarah brings that doll home with her. This doll was exactly like the girl's doll that we saw in the beginning. The next day, when Sarah was bathing, she saw a strange black mark on her arm. But Sarah ignores it and goes to meet her friend, where her friend says that I have heard a story of this town, in which a communion girl who was wearing a white dress, it is said that her soul is visible to people. She also had a doll which according to everyone is cursed, which is considered bad. Whoever has, it will not be good with that one. And maybe you saw that girl's soul last night. This doll is her cursed doll. But Sarah does not believe in these things. That's why she goes to the father. So that she can know whether this doll is really cursed or just a false story. So the father also checks the doll. And also tells her that no. And neither is this doll cursed. In fact, this is an ordinary doll for children to play. Nothing else. But here we look at the father's face and guess. That something else is going on inside him. He is trying to hide something. After a while, Sarah comes home and starts bathing. A very scary soul, who is also wearing white clothes attacks Sarah. She grabs her face with her dangerous hands, with which Sarah finds herself in a well, where water was flowing. She is very scared to find herself here. And then the soul of that little girl, who was wearing white clothes, she attacks Sarah from the downside, and pulls her and tries to dip her in the water and kill her. Sarah came up again. She starts screaming out of fear. Coming to the bathroom, her mom and dad take care of Sarah, who fainted after screaming. Her mom and dad bring her to her senses, and now they get angry by seeing Sarah's condition. They started doubting her, that she must be intoxicated. That's why she fainted. She leaves from there to go to her friend. She meets her and tells her about all this. And while showing the mark on her arm, she says that everything is going strangely. The mark is getting bigger with time. To which her friend gives shocking information. That exactly the same mark is there on my shoulder. By which she shows Sarah her body. Now here both of them felt. They think that this is due to the side effect of that substance dealer's bad stuff. That is, because of that illegal substance. There are marks on our body. That's why both of them meet the illegal substance dealer. 
and tells him about all this. Then he says that this can't happen. There is no harm in my substance. Although I also did this substance. But there is no mark on me. Then it was found that the illegal substance dealer is lying. Because as soon as they both left from there, the illegal substance dealer checks his chest. Where that mark was made. And it was getting bigger. Now Sarah's friend came home. Her dad had a bad habit of alcohol. Because of being intoxicated all the time. He treats his daughter very badly. He even beats her. That's why she spends most of her time outside the house. After a while, she left the house and went to a bar. And when she goes to the washroom there, then all the scary things like Sarah start happening to her. Like she also sees that soul there, who tries to scare her by doing strange things. She got scared of this. She came out of the bar crying, and calls Sarah and tells her everything. What just happened to her? Suddenly that soul comes and attacks her friend, because of which she suddenly became quiet. Now seeing this Sarah understood, that my friend is in trouble. That's why she quickly left from there, and came to her friend who was also unconscious like Sarah. Now here her friend's body was lying, whereas we see her soul in the well like Sarah's. Here that girl's soul was also trying to kill her. Now before the girl kills her, Sarah, at the right time, brings her to consciousness, by which her life is saved. Now these two girls were very scared, and here start going to the illegal substance dealer, because they felt that now that soul will also attack him. Now the illegal substance dealer was shown, whom that soul really starts scaring, by showing her scary face, by which he got so scared that by sitting in his car, he quickly leaves from here, but even then the soul comes inside the car, by which he got so scared, by driving the car, his mind gets distracted, he had such a bad accident and died on the spot, that's why they were very scared and started crying, they don't understand what to do, they went to her friend who liked Sarah, and tell him whatever happened to them, he tells them that years ago, this happened to two girls who were sisters, they also got this doll, after which something happened to those girls, that they took their lives, now here her friend was talking about those two sisters, who we saw in the beginning, that scared girl and her sister. The next day these three go to meet that scared girl's friend, where he tells them, that yes those two sisters took their own lives. After which this doll disappeared from them, after which it becomes clear, that the doll that Sarah has, is the same doll that they had. Because of this, that soul does this to everyone. These four got very scared, and go to the father, but when they reach the church, their father was not there. But they find an old communion rail of 1998. By running this, they see a girl named Marisol, who was a part of the communion at that time, who has the same doll in her hand. From it was clear that the child's soul was actually Marisol. Now here Sarah remembers about that lady, who on the day of communion, came out of the church looking for her daughter Marisol. And because Marisol was that lady's daughter, so these three now decide to meet her. That soul attacks these three again. She chooses Sarah's friend this time to scare him, because he was the only one left. And now it was his turn. By which here we understood that, that night these four were inside the car, that is Sarah, her friend and the dealer, because these four had found and seen the doll. So at that time, these four were chosen, that is, they came into the eyes of that soul, after which the soul attacked Sarah and her friend, and threw both of them in different rooms, and locked them there, where Sarah was locked in that room. She sees the father's dead body, whose hands had the same mark, that is, she was killed by this soul. That soul now tries to kill Sarah's friend, here she had made him unconscious and she was trying to take his soul into the well. But at the right time, both of them come here, and bring their friend to consciousness. And thus her life is saved. Their friend has the same marks on his body. We to go to Marisol's mom as soon as possible. But then Sarah's friend's dad comes here, and because she was not going to college, so he scolds her a lot. He starts beating her again. Here that soul again scares Sarah's friend and attacks her. But this time she saves herself from being unconscious. But because of fear, she attacked her dad with a knife with which she started crying a lot. Now Sarah and her friend reach Marisol's mom. They ask about Marisol and show their own mark. Seeing which that woman understands that the curse on my daughter, it has now come to these people too. She tells them that on my daughter's body, such marks began to form suddenly, because of which everyone used to run away from her and did not love her. She was a child and she never got the love she wanted. Even on communion day, everyone was making fun of her. That's why she ran away from their crying, after which she never came back. Her mom started crying, then Sarah convinces her, that you do not worry, if I get your daughter's soul again, then I will definitely love her, saying which they both left from here, now to meet them, Sarah's friend came, after which these three went in search of that soul, as they reached a deserted area, the child's soul started attacking them again, and tries to kill again and again, she attacks Sarah again and pulls her, and brings her back to that well, the girl's soul was in front of Sarah, in white clothes, which now slowly started moving towards her, but here instead of taking Sarah's life, instead of giving her pain, she hugged her. Seeing this Sarah got nervous, 
But then she remembered the words of Marisol's mom, that she never got love. At that time, everyone used to stay away from her. Nobody loved her, because her whole body was filled with marks. So much so that no one was afraid to touch her. So now here Sarah understood. Marisol wanted people should love her without fear. So she also hugs Marisol. But then the water started filling in that well, in which Sarah starts drowning. But still, she does not leave Marisol. She kept hugging her. Now her soul had seen this thing. So she herself goes from here. And now in Sarah's hand, her skeleton was. After this, immediately Sarah came out of the well. And now they felt that everything is fine. These three sit in the car and go from here. When both the girls were cooking something for themselves. When they go back to the room, Sarah sees that her younger sister has held that doll in her hand. Then Sarah quickly takes that doll from her hand. But now that mark had also become on her younger sister's hand. Seeing which Sarah also thinks how is that possible? Because the child's soul has gone. Her soul had found peace. Because Sarah had loved her. But then strange things start happening in the room. As the lights were blinking. And the bed suddenly rose up. And then fell far away. With which a demon from a corner of the room. That is, a soul like Satan comes out. And now with this, the story goes into Marisol's past. Where we found out, that this doll was not actually Marisol's. In fact, she had found it in the jungle. When she was playing, as soon as she took the doll in her hand, that's when this mark began to appear on her body. That is, this doll was already cursed. Whatever was inside this doll, was not an ordinary soul. But he was a demon, a dangerous devil, who kills everyone like this. Through these dolls, first, he curses them. Then he also takes the soul after fainting them, and takes their life. That is, once someone touches this doll, the devil inside it will never leave that person. Now, Sarah's sister has the danger, here it is also clear that Marisol did not kill anyone. In fact, she was seen by everyone every time, because she used to come here to make them understand, that stay away from that doll, and do not spread hatred because of this mark. Stay away from such delusions and love everyone, the love she never got, because here the demon was doing everything, and he had just controlled Marisol, and now the curse will continue, until this doll is destroyed. With this horrible ending, the story of this film ends here.